Hi guys, it's Phil. You know, that person off of the internet who sometimes opens Warhammer things and paints things. I'm back and I've got... This isn't Warhammer. This is uh, a new War Machine starter set from the new Warhammer War Machine edition which just came out um, this week, I believe. So yeah, I thought I'd pick one of these up because these are amazing value for money. This was about £25 at my local Gifts for Geeks, which is absolutely insane for what you get in the box. So as you may know, if you've watched my channel for a while, I did actually build Signar and Kador armies of sorts um, back when this channel was really new. Go back maybe four years for that. Um, feel free to pop back now and have a look and see what I did. Basically, what I've done here is because it's a new edition, I thought I'd pick this up. And I also picked up the updated faction deck, which has got the new cards for all the existing models. So I'll just show you that first. I didn't realise there's a hell of a lot of models for this army. So many different models. Um, so yeah, that means that I can essentially bring that army up to date with just this little purchase, which is quite nice. Um, Signar, I might pick their deck up down the line, but this gives me two playable um, armies, as it were. So, like I say, um, this is the Protectorate of Menoth Battle Group set, brand new, and it is really, really nice. Um, I've had a little peek through it, but I thought, you know what, you guys probably want to have a look at this, because if you haven't played War Machine before, basically this is not quite an Age of Sigmaring of the system. It's still the same core game, I believe. Um, the rules are still a little bit more in-depth than you, what you'd get from something like Age of Sigmar. It's more like comparable to your 40k rule book. Um, and like I say, this is £25 starter set. It probably meant to retail for about 30 but it's 25 at my locals. So what do you get in here? You get your Warcaster, who's your leader. And then you get a big Warjack and two smaller Warjacks there. So apparently the Warjacks are even more vital to the game than they used to be in this new set. So, let's have a look here. So you get to see what they are. So you've got a Castigator, a Repenter, you've got a Revenger, and Malachus the Burning Truth, who is the Warcaster. And there's the contents of the box. And for the money, already, how insane is this? You get four models, you get your tutorial, a battle map, aka a play mat, you get an introductory guide, you get a rules digest, an 18 inch ruler, four dice, ten focus tokens, three spell tokens, and an obstacle card. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, that just sounds like insane value for money. And it is. You Believe it or not, this is a pretty hefty little box. Um, let's see, it's, you know, it's about the same size as your average Warhammer kit visually but it's quite deep it's like a like a, uh, a unit box one of the big ones like the dryad ones or something so without further ado we'll pull the lid off and get in and have a look at all these amazing goodies it's like a loot crate but good right so first of all when you open it up you've got the war machine prime rules digest this is your miniature rule book basically there is a big rule book available um, I think that's probably around 40 quid, 45 quid. Um, but to be honest, I think this is all you're going to need in order to play the game because this looks like, to me, the full rule set. Uh, I found the previous rule set, which was Prime 2, I think. I found the rule book quite hard work to go through. I never really played the game because the rule book was quite hard to follow. It didn't really break things down into easy bite-sized chunks, whereas this seems to do so with its little box outs, giving you some nice, easy-to-follow examples. I mean, I haven't had a read of it, obviously, yet, but apparently it has been streamlined, and to get that, a nice little paperback full rulebook inside the starter box with just a little army is fantastic. I would love it if 40k start collecting boxes and stuff came with a copy of the miniature rulebook like that and given the fact this is a 25 quid kit I don't see why they couldn't do that so anyway there's that that's the rulebook which is awesome next up you get a little mini book mini magazine book thing about the actual faction so this is about men off so to start off with there's a bit of fluff uh, for I think it's an extract from a novel or a short story an advert for the No Quarter magazine, which is basically their version of White Dwarf. 
a little bit about the tactics, uh, expanded options, how to grow the force, what they recommend, a bit more about War Machine and Hordes, it's sister game, uh, hobby and painting guide, prepping your models, and then there's a little bit about how to paint Menoth armies. There's some nice stuff here about how to do your blending and your shading as well. So it's quite advanced stuff straight from the back from this little book. This is kind of like, it feels like a mini codex, but not quite. Like an extract or something. So that's a really nice little inclusion as well. A little bit about that army, a little bit who they are. That's another thing I would like to see in the start collecting boxes. Now, you get a little 18-inch ruler. It's just a little kind of plastic fold-in-half thing. It's it's not hugely fancy, but it's another little bonus. It is plastic rather than paper, so it's, you know, not bad. Not bad, all things considered. It's another thing in there. Next up, because we're not finished yet, basic training. This is your how to play the game in five minutes booklet so you've got your templates there you've got how the stat cards work a little bit about movement, ranged combat all your basics, it's, this is like your rules light so just to play the absolute kind of most basic version of the game this is what you need to get started so I really like that they've put that in, that's a really nice little thing, and I shall be digesting this over the course of the day. Um, what else have we got? Here's the little play mat, so I believe it's probably two-sided as well, actually. It uh, feels pretty sturdy. you got that, I'm guessing that's like, so you can see which player is which. Um, so, oh, okay, you got C and D, maybe those are objective markers or something, who knows, anyway. So, yeah, this is quite big. It's not going to fit on the old camera here, but if I just fold it out and have a look. Yep, it is two-sided, so you essentially get two battle mats, one of which has got the tokens and numbers on one side, and one of which is just plain, and you can see it's quite glossy. Um, again, it's a very high-quality thing. This isn't your typical kind of poster paper. This feels plasticky and high quality. Oops, try not to crease it up. I'm just going to take this off camera for a second. So that's pretty awesome as well. I mean, I think War Machine is generally played on a 4x4 foot board, so this is great for beginners. I think down the line I would recommend getting a 4x4 play mat, the kind you get on gamemats.eu. Those are the kind of play mats that you really want with this game. Um, but for something you get in a starter box, when it's only costing you, you know, the price of a box of Liberators, if you play Age of Sigma, that's pretty cool, right? So, there's dice, you get four dice in there, nice little weighty ones. There's the cards for the units within the set. So, let's just get these out and have a look. So, you've got an obstacle card, which is kind of like basically a little wall, so you fold it like that create a little wall. Uh, and you've got your Warcaster's main card here and his main abilities and then you've got a second card as always for your Warcaster which contains his spells and on the other side is his once per game feat which is pretty cool. I won't go into the individual units just now. And here's the cards for the Warjacks. So you see there's the light, heavy, light Warjack. So that's pretty awesome. So you've got everything you need there to get playing. And that's going to go back in there for now, if it will. Am I doing it right? Oh, it's going to just sit on top for now. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. There's one more thing before I get to the models. Yeah. The tokens for the army. So this is for your focus, so you can kind of keep track of how many focus points your Warcaster has got. And there's a few other ones in there as well for your spells and things like that. So I believe, yeah, generally I think these are able to be written on. You can use like a Sharpie or a felt tip to write on those and then rub them clean. So you can put like plus one 
or plus two or whatever you want will re-roll this, re-roll the other. So those are pretty cool. Um, and these stack up, you see they've got that little kind of crevice there, so they stack on top of each other, so you have a little stack of focus next to your Warcaster. So, I'm liking it. Uh, I'm running out of time on my batteries, I'm going to have to go quick, but basically, the actual models, as you can see here, they're in this funny kind of, it's not quite GW plastic, it's um, a kind of yellow, it looks a lot more like the resin kits actually. So everything's off a sprue, I think it's obviously kind of either been cast up or they've cut it off their own sprues, but these are really chunky pieces of plastic. Um, I'm hoping the fit is good. Last time I bought some starter kits, the fit was quite bad on some of the warjacks, so I'm hoping these are better. And I did notice when I looked through earlier that this weapon arm here is a little bit curved. So I'm hoping that one will bend back into position with a bit of heat. Unless that's supposed to look like that, and I'm just missing something. But, yeah, I mean the detail looks really nice and crisp on these. I don't know if you can really make it out, but... Uh, yeah, you can see it's been clipped off a sprue or some type there. So you can see how they work. Um, I'm just trying to let you see the detail on them. So they've got the vivets there. I mean, I'd, I would have preferred them if they came on a sprue like a GW style kit. And I think there are the occasional War Machine kits coming out like that now. I have seen one chap, I don't remember who it was unfortunately, but he unboxed a Warjack and it was an on sprue plastic, grey plastic Warjack. So I'm hoping that down the line that's how things will go. But yeah, I'll tell you what, what I'll do is I'll make another video when I've got these guys assembled so you can have a look at them and see what you think. Um, I'm going to have to call it there though because the battery is dying. Um, quickly on the subject of wargaming and stuff, outside of War Machine, I am still doing Age of Sigmar stuff. Um, I haven't uploaded for a while as you've noticed. Uh, that's because I've been beavering away painting the old... Um, old the new warhammer quest stuff basically so i will have a video about the warhammer quest models which i've worked on very soon but let's give you a bit of a teaser anyway uh just grab this this is the uh night quester looking pretty awesome and mm, shall i give you one more teaser yeah let's give you one more let's go here's my dwarden uh doom seeker so there's that guy so yeah um, look out for some of the Warhammer Quest stuff coming up soon. Look out for the assembled Warjacks and maybe some more thoughts on this new edition of War Machine after I've had a time to digest it and do a bit of reading. And yeah, 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 yeah. So, with that said and all that done and this camera literally about to explode with no power, I'll end it there and I'll thank you for watching and I'll say... One last thing, as a question, does anyone out there play this? Has anyone else picked these up? Are you going to pick one up? Has this video made you interested in picking one up? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.